Hey guys, today I'm doing a fancy makeup look using my Ciate Pretty Fun Fearless Palette from the Chloe Morello haul. This is it. This is the look I came up with. It's a really nice, dramatic, very blended out makeup look that is perfect for a special occasion. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and keep watching. I've already applied the No Problem by Touch in Soul. It makes your skin really smooth. I really like it. I think this is a Korean brand. Loves it. And then I'm going to use Makeup Forever HD Ultra in number 120. Uh, before you say it doesn't match, please just take a look at my arms. I do have, I don't know what you would call this skin, neutral olive, I guess. I'm not wearing fake tan. That's what my body looks like. For some reason, I just get blotchiness in my skin. I don't think it's an undertone thing. Because as you can see, I'm not pink. So, there you go. This is the new Rose Gold Color Me device, which I got. I'm so excited because I love my original Color Me. Damn, that foundation's still too light for me. Just added some of my Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops in N40. Okay, then I'll turn it on and start to blend. Pretty good match, I guess. I'll warm it up a little bit with some bronzer and stuff later. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. This is a Tarte brush. Start at the bottom and I like to straighten out my arch. I don't like my arch to be as pronounced. Just going over that, this is an EXO Beauty Dual Ended Brush. And I don't put any product on it, I just allow the foundation that's already there to kind of smooth it all out. I'm going to use the Kat Von D Locket Primer. Did I get that right? You can just use your finger to pat it in. It feels kind of tacky and I, I like that. I'm going to go under my eye as well. And in the inner corner. Now, you guys, look how much I love you because I cleaned my Ciate palette. There was shit all over this palette. By shit, I just mean eyeshadow. Nothing else. But I cleaned the edges. But yeah, so I'm going to use... A Sigma E25 brush with Vacay, which is this really beautiful gold. I'm going to use it up here on my brow bone. I'm just careful not to get it in my brow because I don't want any shimmer in the brow. Same brush, same shade, and put it on the lid. Now that I've got that absolutely everywhere, I'm going to take, this is another Sigma brush, the Tapered Blend-In E35. This is from their Rose Gold Collection, Super Prits. And then definitely my favorite crease color of my whole life, Skinny Dip. It's a nice neutral brown. It's not too warm. I've got some warm ones here as you can see, but I love the neutral one. And then I'm just going to pop this brush with that product just through there. Tilt my head back so that I've got a nice flat canvas to work on. And then start to blend. These eyeshadows are honestly just so soft and smooth. I'm really happy as well. I've seen so many of you guys' reviews, so many of you guys' pictures on Instagram. I'm so amazed and happy. I mean, even though I knew it was an amazing product, I was definitely so worried that someone would find something to hate about it and that would catch on or something. Next I'm going to take Queen Bee on a pencil brush. This brush is my, whoa, this is my one of my oldest makeup brushes. The Sigma E30. Wow, it's old, but look how well it's lasted me. It's still really in shape. I'm going to take that shade. Look how pigmented that is. My goodness. I'm going to really carefully, look at how easily it moves as well on the lid. I'm just doing the little V. Gosh, another Sigma brush. I just grabbed a bunch of brushes out of my collection and they're all Sigma. This is the Diffused Crease. This brush, it's um, a blending brush, but it's kind of stiff. It's not like... It's not like this one that just bends like this. It's kind of stiffer, if that makes sense. Now I'm just going to use that because it's a bit stiffer to semi-buff, semi-smoke out the shadow. So the little crease brush placed them and then this one's going to diffuse that. 
I'm just using a really light hand. I'm holding the brush quite close. I'm just doing light, mostly circular motions to move the product out nice and blended. I've got the Jouer Slim Cream Eyeliner in Matte Brown. Now I'm going to put that on the lash line, very close to the lashes. This is the Elite Linear One Brush from Matisse. Just going to go over that. Okay, now onto the lower lash line. Just going to do the waterline actually. Then when I get to the inner corner, I'm kind of straightening it out. Same with the outer corner. And repeat. I've got that dark brown again, Queen B. Soften out the eyeliner. I'm gonna connect it to the outer corner too. I'll just take Skinny Dip again. Use that under the whole eye. This is very important, guys. Take a Q-tip and dig the eye boogers out. No one talks about this, but Christ. Just go mining for those eye boogie crusty things and get rid of them. It's like periods, no one talks about them, but they definitely happen to everyone. Circle 1R brush from Artiste with Vacay. I'm gonna put it in the inner corner. You're gonna have to check for eye boogers again after this. I'm going to curl my lashes because I do not have them lifted at the moment. Now, with my palette in the haul, you get a luxury size, so basically a mini travel size Wonder Wand Mascara. This is the best mascara. Let me just get up close so you can see my lashes before and after. Tarte Shape Tape in light medium. Go right up in there. And then right up to there. Alright! Once the shape tape is all dried, I'll take my blending brush over the edges to bring it all soft again. I'm going to put some velour lashes on. These are from their new nude or naked collection with the um, invisible band. going to take the dark brown over the glue. Then with my Marc Jacobs liquid eyeliner, I'm just going to go very carefully right along the band using the lashes as a guide. Full fluttery eyes. Now I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. I'm going to use my Cover FX Medium Powder, just very sparingly. Blush Urban Decay Score on F40 Sigma Brush. Then this is the BH Cosmetics Satin Bronzer. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it, so I'm only going to apply it sparingly to the sides. Now when it comes to highlighter, I'm going to use my Becca X Jaclyn Hill Champagne Collection Face Palette. This is the first time I've used it. I kind of wanted to keep it as like a memory type thing. <laughs> sometimes I get makeup but I just never use it. Like I've just bought it for the purpose of memories. Exo Beauty Blending Brush. Take this one. I think this is regular champagne pop, isn't it? Yeah. Whoa, that is pigmented as fuck. Just connect it up to uh, eyeshadows. A little bit here, and then some here. Let's put some down here too. 
because that's what everyone's doing these days. So the cool kids are doing. Now when I know I'm moving on to lips, I reapply some of my lip balm. I always use Chapstick Night Repair. Now I'm using Cabernet Lip Cream. Jouet. I never pose and do that whole, well I rarely do, but I really feel like it today. Oh. That's it for me guys, I hope you liked this tutorial using my Chloe X Ciate Pretty Fun and Fearless Palette. I'll put all the information below. So glad everyone's loving their palettes. I'm not surprised. It's freaking amazing. And I hope you like this makeup look. There'll be definitely more to come. Okay, guys, I'm out.